Well, I personally think that uh, us here at KTTC should get a gig giant candy cane for our newsroom from Marlin. That sounds amazing. That is so sweet. And uh, in the winter spirit, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect until 6 p.m. this evening for those areas in purple. Freeburn, Worth, Cerro Gordo, Hancock, and Winnebago counties are included in this advisory. And we're going to see some light snowfall continuing throughout the day and looking at the snowfall reports of what we've already seen out of this system six inches in Owatonna five and a half in Byron here at KTTC 5.3 and then decreasing from there to Cora in Northeast Iowa only at about an inch and a half and yesterday's snowfall set the record daily snowfall for December 15th at RST 4.8 officially at RST yesterday and the previous record was 4.2 set back in 1940 and it's going to be a bit of a chilly and cloudy and snowy day for taking the dog on a walk but I know some dogs like to walk in all conditions so you uh, may take them out today and just bundle up and make sure they are warm as well and this is Skylar from Rochester Thank you for sending that in. High of 27 today with those isolated light snow showers throughout today. Winds from the southwest between 15 and 20 miles per hour, gusting to 25 miles per hour at times. And looking at future track, tracking out that snow continuing through the morning and into the afternoon hours. A little bit of a break for some areas as we head into the afternoon, but then that snowfall really seeing that snowfall pushing off by about 6:30. still some lingering snow showers but the majority of the area will be done with that snow heading into the evening and then into the overnight hours and early saturday just some light pockets of snowfall heading into our saturday and through tonight seeing the uh, additional snowfall amounts anywhere between one and two inches mainly north of i-90 and then south of i-90 less than an inch on top of the totals that we've already seen and looking at our next five days those temperatures are going to see them take a big drop 19 on saturday and by next wednesday one degree for the high 24 degrees below average so definitely going to be a chilly one next week for tonight a low of 15 degrees those stray light snow showers across the region winds from the west between 15 and 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour possible across the region those lows in the teens and 20s and then for our saturday some flurries are possible, but mainly cloudy skies, high of 19 degrees, winds from the west between 15 and 20 miles per hour. And then across the region, those high temperatures in the teens and 20s. So already starting to see those highs dropping just a little bit for our Saturday. Sunday down to 12 and then slowly just seeing those temperatures decreasing as we head through the upcoming week. And we do have our next chance for some isolated snowfall next Wednesday. And it's going to get a lot colder yeah. next week, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. As we're heading into, you know, the holidays, I'm hoping for some more snow. Yeah, but at the same time, no, because people are traveling. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and that fresh snow out there is making things uh -huh. so slippery out there this morning. Please take care when you're out and about. Mm -hmm. It is 619. The latest high school basketball rankings are in. We're going to share those, plus the Vikings.